Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with a weekly oracle card guidance but pertaining to love. So if you have a love situation that you'd like guidance on or is it love that you have for a friend or love that you have uh, for yourself or love that it has for your work for your uh, that you have for your work or any particular situation love that you have for your family for instance if you're asking a question about love or if you're unsure about love also romantic love um, this is the reading uh, for you uh, and this pertains not just only to this week um, in which I'm uploading it but it will also apply to you whenever you are drawn to to this deck of cards and uh, to to this reading so the deck of cards I'm using are called the heart of the fairy oracle and it's by Brian and Wendy Freud uh, or Freud Freud actually and today we have three options as usual I'm using um, a tumbled um, rose quartz here and the heart um, clear quartz and a, a piece of raw uh, rose quartz as well. Okay, so go ahead, um, make your selection and you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to your video or to your reading, I should say. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and begin and we'll start with the tumbled um, quartz your selection, uh, your number one selection. And um, we're asking today, what is it that we need to know about love at this moment? What is it that we need to know about love at this moment? Okay, so we have here card 54 and it's called the leaving what I feel in this instance is not necessarily that you are leaving uh, your partner or your partner is leaving you if you were talking about a romantic uh, sense um, if we, in fact even though the card is titled the leaving I feel this is more to do with coming to the coming of something to another so you might be motivated by love uh, in order to move to a certain place or you might be motivated by love to be able to be to do to um, do something to create something or to it's actually less to create an object or but to um, to create a visit for instance like you might be drawn or feel pushed by love at this in this week or this time that you select uh, this reading to be to to be to go to someone because of the love that you feel for them because of the care that you have for them or you may be you may feel drawn to move to a certain place because of the love that you have to bring a project to fruition and moving there would facilitate that um what i'm hearing here is this leaving or that this um actual coming to it feels like you're coming to a new place so yes you might be leaving an old place but you're coming to a new place well I feel that, well, this might be um, something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. You've been thinking about it, you've been dreaming about it, you've been wondering about whether you should do it or not. It's been something that, it's been on your agenda, or it's been on your radar, I should say. Something that you've been wanting to, to work towards uh, for a very long time. And now is that it's the final chapter. The final chapter of this stage of your life is there with regard to this particular thing and uh, the ending is there so the ending is it's not to say that the relationship is ending or that um you know it's yeah it's not to say that the relationship is ending or or finishing but rather that there's a certain chapter that's close that's coming to an end and it's closing and this chapter of your life has has finished and it's you're being urged to to walk into a new path with regard to this and how this would apply to you? Well, in some instances, I feel that this is um, even, it's like the last pages almost of the chapter, right? So what I feel is that you are almost, um, it's almost like you've already decided that, that there's an ending of this relationship or you're bringing this relationship to a particular phase. And then you are, uh, that this is the last days of it. This is the last days where you're actually kind of waving goodbye from a distance and saying, well, it is over. It is actually, you know, it is over. And you are content to let this connection between you stay there um, to maintain this connection. But you recognize that the way in which you will relate to each other is quite different now 
uh, as it has been in the last few years. So I'm feeling like the last, you know, it could be the last 10 years of your life. It could be the last seven years of your life. And for some of you, it's just been a short time. But it feels like for some of you, for most of you, this has been a long time coming. And there's been hope and there's been the hope that you could be with this person or this person was your twin flame or something like this. But now you've you've brought it to the final stage. Uh, for those of you not work, uh, dealing with the love situation here, it feels like you might be in, in those cases. It feels like this is you going to, to love. It feels like you're moving to family. It feels like you're moving to um, to there's more compassion more love for family there's like a, a drawing towards family and it, it could be uh, the family of your your ex or the person that you soon are leaving as well it's it's a kind of a weird message i am I'm, I'm receiving yeah but it it makes sense in my mind and the way in which i'm feeling the energies it makes complete sense but um in order to uh or kind of articulate this energy to you is a bit weird for me um so it, it in this path in this path that you are on right now it feels to me like you are uh, young on this path so it might be that you've not done this before or you've not uh, you yeah you've not done this before you've not or maybe you have done this before but you don't have a lot of experience with it so it feels like it's it's quite new to you there may be administrative things for instance around, surrounding this 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 thing that you're doing that may be new to you and uh, you still have a lot to learn. But I feel like here yeah, that you've been guided and it's the right path, you know. If you've been feeling like leaving and if you've been feeling like going to a different place or, or moving because of love or moving away from love, uh, it, it's something to do with this moving. It's something, it's got movement, you know. This card has energy of movement and it's the, the, the energy is also the closing of this chapter. So it's the ending of something. It's the bringing of something to a close. And um, if you are feeling like this, and if this message resonates with you, then recognize that you are being guided to do so, that you are being watched, that you're being guided, that you're being, uh, you're being told, okay, come along, you know, this is the way you need to do it. And you just need to hear that. So if you're having uh, difficulties hearing that, then it's important to take time to ground yourself and to just be amongst nature, be, be with nature, be with the soil, be with rocks, um, be yeah i feel like rocks is 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 it and i see in the, in, in the picture here it's also it's, yeah some rocks but i feel that being in in um like even if you just hold a stone in your hand uh it'll help you to make a decision it'll help you to come to this decision that you need to make or it'll give you the grounding that you need uh to establish or re-establish the confidence uh, that you may need in order to uh, take the next step so um yeah, it also feels to me that the love, there's no love lost in this, you know. There is love here. It doesn't feel to me like if there's a parting, uh, that there there's parting in sorrow or uh, in sadness. It feels to me that the love is actually quite secure, but that you as an individual are seeking a greater security for yourself. And therefore, this uh, message is actually something, um, it's like a message of, of goodness for your well-being. It's, it's something that... It's a happy message, you know, it's not, it's not even, it's not a joyful message. Um, but it is a happy message in that it, it has a degree of contentment in it, in it where you are well, where you are, you, you are going to be okay. It's, it's good for you to take this path. And so that is what uh, this week's message is. So yeah, that is also a very, very specific message. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it, well, then it doesn't. Okay. Um, so I'm moving on now to the next one. And um, we had um, the second, the second um, stone was this uh, rose, or, um, sorry, this quartz, uh, this heart quartz here. And we are asking the question uh, for this week. What is it that you need to know? What is it? What is the message that you've come here to hear? What is the message that resonates with you all? Okay, I feel it's this one here. Where's this? So the, we have the Queen of Laughter. Okay, so this nine feels very different for me than the nine in the previous um, uh, card, uh, which was the option number one. 
So here it feels like um, this is there's a joyful ending of something. So it's almost like there's a celebration. So it feels to me like this is a love uh, reading, but what I'm hearing here is this is a love for life and this is gratitude that you have. And it's almost like you've been presented with a trophy for having completed something. So it's almost like you finished a course or a degree or some kind of a diploma and then you've been presented with your certificate or your trophy or your, your, your yeah, something that, that signifies how well you've actually uh, performed in this task. And there's there's a certain degree of happiness with, that comes with that. There's a certain degree of pride, but it's a, but it's a happiness which is light and, and, and joyful. Whereas in the previous uh, reading, uh, those of you who might have chosen the first option and still listening to the second one, uh, there was a, a, um, a feeling of, uh, of contentment, which is a deeper feeling. It's a deeper vibration of, of happiness well-being and this is a lighter this is just a, a, much lighter and um, what I want to say here with this card is uh, for those of you who've chosen this whatever you choose to do right now okay so whatever you choose to do whatever you're on the path of right now whether it is to do with a loved one or romantic love or on love that is not romantic if you're choosing to take any decision or you're choosing to do something you are going to be fully supported by this, okay? And you have the com complete support of the of the universe. You have the complete support of whatever divine helpers that are there. And you also have the support of those around you in your community. And that might not seem to be the case uh, from a superficial point of view. So you might not know that and they might not have told you this. But you, whatever you decide right now is actually for your well-being. So if you are just simply in a relationship and things are going well what it is is that you have the support of those around you to actually uh, to actually uh, you know continue as you have been already this card here it doesn't signify a great move or it doesn't signify a great uh, like a big kind of um, dramatic um, change what it does uh, signify is simply enjoying on a day-to-day -day basis like day trips or simply enjoying the weather or simply enjoying what is available right now and being able to enjoy different aspects from of yourself so if you are here asking a, uh, a message or seeking guidance for love with regard to romantic love the the key to romantic love right now the key to whatever your you know your question is the answer to it is that in order to to find what you're looking for you need to actually enjoy yourself you need to enjoy yourself doing simple things, doing little things, um, doing things, day-to-day uh, -day things that you can do. You know, going out uh, to the theater or going to, to a concert or, or to a poetry reading or to a, uh, you know, doing something like a, something that, inc that you could incorporate into your day and that doesn't require a huge change. And it's by feeding your soul, uh, by doing something that you really enjoy, or exposing yourself to a different reality, a different tapestry, a different paradigm of thinking, that you're actually going to find what it is that you need to be able to inject what it is that you need into your relationship, or to be able to feel that which you are lacking from your relationship, or to be able to simply understand your relationship in a different context. So this would apply to those who are in relationships with people and are living with them, or married, or... Uh, also with people who are in kind of situations where you're not really seeing your partner that often or you're not even a partner to the person that you love but you actually just know them and you you, you harbor feelings for them this would apply to all the a whole range of people in various situations with love the answer here is simply to find the contentment and the light-heartedness uh, within you and you know one of the things that came to me when I first uh, drew this card is that uh, for a couple of my clients, I've been uh, working with a technique of, of uh, laughter therapy, you know, to help them uh, get to the next phase of their development. And uh, that, that was the first thing. When I picked up this card, that's the first thing I thought about was, oh, you know, queen of laughter, laughter therapy, laughter as the therapy. So if you don't know what that's about, you can Google it. And I'm sure you'll find a lot about that on the internet. But, uh, you know, use laughter as a therapy if you need to. And if you're feeling a degree of anxiousness, you might, you know, with the with the last eclipse and the current uh, energies with the mercury going retrograde, etc., you might, uh, it might bring up some 
feelings of anxiety or ungroundedness, etc. And coming to that place or bringing yourself to that place of simple lightness and laughter is actually what's going to help you to, um, yeah, it's going to help you to, uh, to simply find what it is that you need. Okay, I'm also hearing that flying, you know, if you, use, if you fly as a hobby, that would be useful. If you swim, Swimming is also great right now. So um, yeah, flying, swimming is great. If you if you go on like three D kind of uh, uh, I don't know what you call these things to be honest, uh, but you know where you wear a pair of three D glasses and you travel through a certain space, you know, and uh, there's motion involved. It's uh, uh, forgive me for not knowing what this is called, uh, but um, yeah, it's basically you know if you do things like this where you kind of uh, you know, travel in a way in your mind, or even if you do astral travel, those are things right now that actually will come, uh, will be actually quite uh, useful to you at some level. But if you're doing astral travel, I've just uh, been told, be careful to find your way back, okay? Uh, be, 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 be aware of that. So there's nothing that you need to be really uh, concerned about right now things are going to plan things are good if you want to create a greater lightness in yourself do so by using laughter or swimming or flying or uh, doing something that's light you know and and taking you away from a more somber environment into a more sunnier environment or something where uh, joy joy can be created so like fire is intense and 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 the forest you know has its own intensity but this is this is about being in in a kind of warmth and uh just uh, water watery type of energy but warmth as well like sunshine is good the rays of the sun upon your skin um, perhaps just sitting outside and and having and feeling the rays of the sun on your skin or is also going to bring you some of what you need all right so that was it for those of you who uh chose the second option here which was this uh clear quartz uh heart So for those of you who've chosen the uh, tumble, no, sorry, the raw um, rose quartz here, the question we're asking you to, uh, the question we're asking for you today, is what is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you need here? What is it that you've come here to hear? And what is of relevance to you at this moment? Oops. Those of you who have chosen option number three, the uh, rose quartz, what is it that you actually need to know right now? What is the message for you? We're going to go with this one. So it's the number 39 and it's the fixer. All right. So with this card here, um, the first thing that I wanted to say, uh, or the first thing that struck me was, uh, that the, there's the number three. It's uh, 93 is divisible to the number three. And uh, the fixer is someone in this state that brings together more than one entity to, to yeah, to bring it, bring it together. So, you know, you are here to ask for advice in, in terms of love. You are here to, um, in, whether it be romantic love, but it's also familiar love or... Um, or just, yeah, yeah, you're asking about love. This is specifically about love. And what I'm hearing here is that in order to have this love, in order to have this outcome that you'd like in terms of love, you need to bring more than one person together. And you, you are the one who needs to do this. So it's like you need to be the glue. You need to be the mediator between family and a loved one. Or you need to be the one who who bridges the gap between the friends and loved one. Um, you need... To be the one who sorts this problem out and even though you don't need to take responsibility for creating this or it's nobody's fault and you don't need to lay blame on anyone what is actually needed here is largely you to come in and um and 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 create this this new situation so that would apply to those of you who have people in your life or, you know where there is uh such a mediation uh, required but i'm also hearing that for those of you who are single and or those of you looking for love, that you weren't the one that needs to fix the situation. You know, you you are the one who needs to create this. And until you actually go out and uh, put yourself in a situ 
in a in the environment where you can be where you can meet somebody or you can actually um, go on a date or or perhaps you know interact with other people who could introduce you to your potential love um, it's not nothing's going to happen so the other thing I'm hearing here for those for those people who are single and looking for love and you're wondering like how am I going to get it or you know what is my advice the advice for you to do is to, for you to, to come out of there even come out of your town uh, to be able to meet somebody go to the next biggest town uh, because it feels to me like the person the person that you have to meet is like okay I'm doing a general reading right now I'm probably picking up the energy of about 20 people or something like this uh, I don't know how many of you are going to be watching this so uh, if this resonates with you go with it but what I'm hearing here is that you are you the person that you have to meet or you will meet is not within your you know it's not just one connection away it's like maybe three connections away so and it's not um, like it's more likely that you'll meet them in the physical world as opposed to in the virtual world so if you're looking for love you need to actually go out and make it happen and you need to like literally go out and, and make it happen and you need to be the fixer in that situation um if this is not pertaining to romantic love and you actually just simply you know come into the love reading to find out what you should do with regard to love in your family or with your friends or um in a work environment uh, or whatever just trying to make the peace I, I'm hearing that here you play a vital role once again you are the fixer so this title fix the fixer is actually quite important in how you when you go along in this week or however long you you use this reading for um, you know just remember that you are the fixer you, you're the one you know look for opportunities where you can bind people bring people together uh, and Yes, you know, even in a family environment, you you can be the one just by simply uttering a few words in a sentence. You know, you could be the one who fixes the situation. You need to be the one who binds. You need to be the one who's the mediator. And you need to be the one who fixes something in a non-romantic situation as well as a romantic, uh, as well as no other love uh, related situation like a familiar love or a, a friend, uh, a love, a friendship based on love, etc. The other thing I'm hearing here is that um, be careful um, not to step on anyone's toes in the process and also uh, be careful uh, not to uh, take the route of being um, kind of not deceitful but you know playing a prank uh, like playing a prank is not going to work uh, or doing something underhanded in order to create something good is also not going to work so even though it might seem like it would work or that would be the best way of doing it avoid doing that as it will be to the detriment of all involved the other thing uh, especially to yourself okay it will uh, it will undermine the trust that there is um, so if you think you know maybe I shouldn't tell this person I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna do this it's not really uh, going to work out as well as it could work out if you were to share that information all right so that is all uh for this week uh for the, yes and i hope that has been relevant to you and i hope that has been of help to you um i thank you all for coming by and i hope that you have a lovely week ahead and i hope that uh, these messages resonate with you as well okay um wishing you a fabulous week ahead and blessings abound from kismet rising